second video in the playlist on dealing with angles and solving angle problems. Um, it's graded at round about grade D at GCSE, so it hopefully it should be relatively straightforward, but if you're not sure about some of the ideas here, then please do have a look at the first video and that'll give you the four things that you need to know when you're dealing with angles. Okay, so this is a shape that's been given in the question um, and we're told that this is 74 degrees and we're being asked to work out this value which is the value of x. We're also told that these two lines are parallel to each other and also these two lines are parallel to each other and you can see those by these little arrow heads that have been drawn on for you. The important thing with this particular question is that you spot that this triangular shape here is an isosceles triangle. It's the most important part of it that this side and this side are the same length. And that's you're told that by these little sort of cross hatches that they put across the lines here. And they usually write it into the text as well. So in other words, if you want to find out the value of this, if it's an isosceles triangle, every triangle internal angle adds up to 180 degrees. So providing you can find out this or this, then you should be able to work out that. OK, so the, uh, the little bit of um, angle properties that you need to know is what they call corresponding angles. So if this is 74 degrees, then actually this is 74 degrees as well. So what we've got is two parallel lines, OK, and it's a bit like that, isn't it? So this is parallel and this is parallel, that and that, okay, and corresponding angles tells us that if this must be 74, in this case, then this will be 74 as well. That's what we've used there. And then the last thing is, as I mentioned before, that this is an isosceles. So if I just sort of turn this up the other way, what we've just found out is that this is 74 degrees, this is the same, and this is the same. Well, in an isosceles triangle, if this is 74, then actually this which is here, must also be 74 degrees as well. OK, well, every triangle adds up to 180 degrees. So what we need to do is add these two together and then take them away from 180 degrees. So this value here is going to be 180 take away 74 plus 74, which is 148, OK? 148, OK, take one away from the other, and that's 32 degrees. So basically, the value of X in this particular problem is 32 degrees. Um, I hope that's OK for you. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I always will respond to you. Please do like and also subscribe, subscribe to the channel, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.